Well, welcome back, everybody. It is your boy Broncos Guru coming back at you again. And this week, we're going to talk a little bit about boat launch etiquette. That's right. We're going to talk about how to launch your boat and do it safely. One of the first things you're always going to want to do when you get down to the boat ramp, even before you approach the ramp, is go ahead and make sure your drain plugs in. The last thing you want to do is be trying to scramble to get your boat back out of the water once you realize you've forgotten it and your engine compartment's flooded. Also, another thing I see a lot of people do is try and scramble to get their boat back on the trailer. The reality is if you did forget your drain plug, it's probably a whole lot faster and a whole lot safer just to try and dive in and get it back in. Usually you can get this done in a lot less time than trying to get the trailer back in the water and get the boat back out. Once you've got your drain plug in and your rear straps undone, always go inspect any boat ramp that you're going to, especially if it's one you're not familiar with because you never know what kind of situation you're going to wind up in. You may wind up like this guy into a slippery situation. Tell you what though, this guy handled it pretty epically to be honest. Once you've inspected the ramp, it's time to start backing that trailer down. The boat ramp is not the place to learn how to back a trailer up. If you don't have a whole lot of experience with this, do yourself a favor, take your truck, your trailer, and your boat, maybe to a school parking lot or a mall parking lot on a slow day, and go over there and just try practicing backing it up. If you're trying to do this on the boat ramp and learn it, you're going to give yourself a lot higher stress, and you're also going to stress a lot of the people around you out as well. Even once you've figured out how to back your truck up, there's still some silly mistakes that get made down at the ramp that'll cause a truck to take a swim. Some people forget to put the truck in park, some forget to set the parking brake, but I bet the most common ones are a slippery boat ramp somebody can't get up, or they're trying to pull their truck out and they think they're in drive and they're in neutral, and by the time they figure it out, it is too late and that truck's in the water and they can't get it back out. This is another pretty common mistake we'll see down at the ramp, and that's where somebody's not removed all their straps. Typically right here, this guy's got his rear straps connected. He probably has removed the bow wire. I'm imagining he wouldn't be trying to back this truck up. But once again, first thing you should always do, remove those rear straps. Even before I start backing down the ramp, I'll do that. One thing I do do though, is make sure to keep the bow wire attached. Usually will not let the bow wire go until the boat's fully in the water. And I've actually even started the engines to make sure everything's ready to go for my day on the water. Nothing stinks worse than releasing that bow wire. The boat starts to drift off and you can't get a motor started or something else is wrong. Some of you, especially if you're new, or maybe don't even own a boat yet, are sitting here wondering why in the world does anybody want to do this? And tell you what, we haven't even really hit the most stressful part of this, and that is trying to get this boat back on the trailer at the end of the day. It's pretty easy to get this thing off the trailer when you really look at it, because you don't have to deal with a lot of the factors you will when you try and come back on. Basically, you just got to get the boat off. When you come back on, you're going to have wind, current, tides, and various other factors in there affecting the way the boat performs trying to get it back on the trailer. This really can be one of the most difficult parts of boating, and it does take some time to master, but I'll tell you what, if you take a little bit of time to practice, usually what I would tell people to do, find a buoy somewhere out in the water, just take your time going around and try and getting as close to it as you can at slow speeds without hitting it. This is a lot like docking. Approach this trailer no faster than you want to hit it, because at some point you are probably going to hit this thing. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned a little something from it. One of the biggest pieces of advice I can give to you though, go ahead and set yourself up a pre-launch checklist. In this checklist, go ahead and know everything you want to do to your boat and your trailer before you launch. Also, maybe set up a post-launch checklist too, so you don't wind up pulling off the ramp dragging your outdrive. If you haven't already, go ahead and follow us on Facebook or Instagram. If you ever see anything crazy going on in your waterway, shoot us an image and let us know what you saw. Also, if you haven't yet, drop an anchor on the subscribe button. If you don't, I'm coming to steal your props.